everyone. Welcome back to Heaven Said Boyfriend. It's Sida. And I'm Chancellor. Welcome back, guys. Hi, everyone. You can tell it's Friday because I lost my mind or anything. <laughs> That's how I feel, really. She, she did. She yeah, did. I'm just relieved it's the weekend. Yeah, you know, you feel a little crazy. I don't act normal for 40 hours a week. Other than that, I can't really do it. But <laughs> That's a big ask. It's a big ask. But you know what? At the same time, we have a really nice first to talk about today. We have Sample Sniff Saturday. Sample Sniff, Sample Sniff. Welcome back. <laughs> right, exactly. So we have the House of Mancera and Montel. Actually, Monster House of Mancera and Montel have the same perfumer. So it's kind of like we're reviewing the same house. We've been putting together for our samples. And stay tuned. Stay tuned. Let's get straight into the samples we got here. First one up is Oud Amazing by Montal. I would say with Oud Amazing, when I when first sniffed, now the reason why I got the samples is actually because I saw a fragrance review by the fragrance guy, and Sebastian, that's his name, and he said that this was a really beautiful fragrance and that it's something that he enjoyed, and it actually reminded him of some other fragrances, which was Coco Mademoiselle, and what was the other one? I can't recall, but Coco Mamma was one of them. So I was like, oh, I need to smell that one. And I can see how he kind of picked up that kind of vibe from this fragrance. But I would say this is like really, for me it was masculine. Sexy scent, yeah, but pretty masculine. You get some of the oud, but it's not extremely rubbery or anything like that. It's just like a soft oud, patchouli, and I can't really, tell what else it's not really floral it's just a really nice set the scent i think it's sexy i like it too uh i'm not a big oo guy um like i said but it's uh it adds a little bit of the floral and then the the, the oud is there but it's not overdone you know what i mean it kind of knows its place it's staying in its own late lane but it's not doing too much i like it i love it yeah i think it'd be a great night out scent i think that's I think it's neat. I think Chance was to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one to the next fragrance we're on to. We're on to Mancera, Cedre Bois. Mm. Alright, so we have Cedre Bois here. Now, Cedre Bois, some people like to compare this to Aventus. Creed Aventus. Mm, heard that a lot. Yeah, saw a lot of reviews. I can pick it up a bit. And not in the sense of it smells like it. There are, there are no dupes, but I would say if you enjoy that fragrance, this is a nice interpretation. I get clean, uh, fresh. Uh, for some fruits in there. It really smells good. It must be my mouth water, but I like it for a man, not for myself. Definitely very uplifting. It's uh, This is a summer spring scent for sure. It's definitely a spring summer scent for sure. A very uplifting. Um, I like it. It's another one that I really, really like. And it's masculine. It's I nice. love that. White button up shirt type of scent. Really great. Absolutely. Like short sleeve button down. Can't go wrong. Maybe like. The top two buttons un undone, you know, like really exposing that. Right. And next we're on to Velvet Vanilla. Love this. So, what are you getting from it? I would say for me, at first sniff, I thought I already had this fragrance. I thought I already had it because I have M. Mikulef Watch. Mm. If you smell M. M. Mikulef Watch, it's a bubble gummy tumorose sweet scent. Mm. Until I had a closer sniff at this fragrance, and guess what I smelled? Angelique Noir by Guerlain. Not exactly the dupe for it, but I got that impression from that fragrance because I had samples of it. Always liked it and just never bought the full bottle. And this, of course, is discontinued now. This is like Watch and Angelique Noir together. Love it. Match made in heaven? It's beautiful. It's, it's a very feminine scent. I enjoy that one. So, Bell Vanilla, thumbs up. <laughs> All right, next we have here, oh, eyes itchy. <laughs> Roses Vini. Roses Vini. Smells like something to me too. Something I own. Tiziana Terenzi's d -locks. Not a dupe. Reminds me of it. Beautiful scent. To me, it's worth having both. But I like Tiziana Terenzi's d -locks better. But beautiful fragrance. <laughs> this is very familiar to me. It reminds me of the uh, La Rose and the, uh, what, what was that? Uh, it's the Lena. It's the yeah, Lena. It's just the, the La Rose. Yes, yeah, the Lena. Yes, really the water notes from that. It's really, really familiar to me. Really bright and uplifting. Um, I think this is probably a unisex. I think this is a his and hers. I definitely really? would wear this. I would wear this in the summer too. I feel like I could get away with it. Uh, what with my skin chemistry, I think that I could wear this in the summer. Uh, I think wow. it's really smooth. Yeah. That's really cool. I could see it. You know, like La Rose has like I get what you're saying about the rosy, uh, watery notes because. 
Um, La Rose said it had water, sugar, rose, vanilla. Really gorgeous. I get kind of a menthol, a mentholiness. It's a, it's a little strange. And some of these rose fragrances by by Mansara, I get like a menthy, mentholy, uh, kind of bright spearmintiness to the rose. It's not a turn off. It's just uplifting. It's bright. It opens your your nose. It's interesting. Next we have Sicily by, by Mansara. Sicily by Mansara is fruits, fruits, fruits. We talking grapefruits, we talking lemon, we talking bergamot, we talking where we talking about the whole thing. Pineapple. Shebang. Pineapple yeah. is very tropical, it's very, very bright, very, very uplifting. Very this summery. This is a wow for me when I first sprayed it on um, from, from, from Jump. Like when it opens up, it stays too. It's just lasting a really, really, really long time. And definitely summer, spring, this would definitely be a go to. This is my favorite by far from what we've sampled so far. Wow. Hands down. Uh, masculine. Uh, do you think it's feminine, or would you would you think it's unisex? I think it's, hers? I think it's um it's strictly unisex. I wouldn't say it's more feminine. I wouldn't say it's more masculine. It's just mm. a, a great smelling scent. Next, we're on to Indian Dream by Mansara. Smells beautiful. <laughs> Indian Dream is like clean, osonic, floral, muskiness. I can't really tell what I'm smelling. It just is well blended. It just smells like a really beautiful scent. I think it smells great. Um, you can, get, enough, a little, you can get a little spiciness in there too. Right. So it's weird. I like the scent. I don't want it on me though. <laughs> Where you want it then? If you don't want it on you. I, I want to smell it. I just don't want it on me. Like I don't want to buy the full bottle. Mm. But I really like the scent. Mm. Maybe in the future, maybe I might think about it and say, you know what? I like that scent. I need a full bottle. But right now, You'll, you'll find out the end which one's the one I bought a full bottle of. Next we're on the wild python. Ah. Does it bite like a python? No. Is it vicious? It has two tuberose in it. I love tuberose. Tuberose is one of my favorite white florals. I love white florals. Mm. I love tuberose. Mm. Again, I like the scent. I don't want it on me. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> this is a, it's a really unique scent, but I don't know what to make of. I don't know what to do with it. It's, I think it would smell better on somebody else, but the tuberose, it really, really is strong. I didn't want to smell it on somebody. I just like the smell. You know what I mean? Like, I could, I'd probably just sit, you know what? I could get the perfume bottle and spray it on a blanket and just sniff it all day. I don't want it on me for some reason. Mm, I don't want to smell like this, but I like the smell. You yeah, know what? It's almost okay. like, it smells like a real tuberose. Like, as if I was in a botanical garden and I smelled the tuberose, it's like, man, I don't want to put that tuberose in my hair or, or rub it on my body. I just want to smell it. <laughs> All right, next we're on the Roses Greedy. Or Greedy Roses. This right. is really heavy with roses? Right, I get a very rosy scent to it. Sweet, mm. rosy scent, kind of um, clean. Mm. Uh, it's, it's more of a classic rose. I get that same mentholiness that I got with the other rose fragrance, Roses Vanille. I enjoy it. it. Smells beautiful. I don't want it on me, though. I don't want to smell like that all day. Hmm. <laughs> better, better for somebody else, but not for No, us. not even for somebody else. I just like the scent. It's, mm. it's, it's, it's a very weird thing when I say that. When I say I don't want it on me, I'm not being insulting. I'm not saying that it smells bad or that I, I just, you know, you just don't want to smell like that all day. Maybe it doesn't exude who I am as a person, but I like the scent of it. Last we have, well, not last, next to last, Holidays. We weren't fans of Holidays at all. <laughs> we were not fans of it. Funny, this scent gets such praise in the fragrance community that I almost blind brought it because I have Tom Ford Sole Blanc, I have Terracotta by Guerlain, and I thought it was a tropical scent. I even have Intense Tier by Montau, which is, some people say are sim similar to this. I prefer Intense Tier by Montau. For me, there's a note in here. I don't like the way it's turning. I won't say what it smells like. It's not pleasant to me. It doesn't smell awful, but I don't want it on me. Oh yeah. Not a just, big... just no. Just, just no. Coconut, vanilla, the tier, and some ocean marine notes. The ocean marine notes are what do are, are what's doing it for me. It doesn't smell salty. It smells uh, seaweedy, almost like um. Barnacle. There you go. It's, it's like, like the like the like the you know that marine. You know, like when you're by the ocean and the, and the tide is starting to and you start to smell like the things that are in the tide. Mixed with sunscreen, eh, I don't like it. I appreciate it. 
I respect it, but not for me. Not my kind of sunscreen scent. And last we have Arabian's Tonka by Montal. Very like nice fragrance. You get the Tonka, you get the woodiness. Um, it's a deep woodiness to it. I don't. Very I think it's strictly more masculine. I don't like it for me. I do like it on Chance though. And it's not a love for me too, but this is something that I would definitely wear in the winter time. Uh, it would definitely be cloying in the summer. It would be too much. It's a nice classic. Oh yeah, it'll be overwhelming in the, in the heat. Yeah, yeah, you don't want that. It'll be like choking you. Yeah, it's nice, classic, um, smooth scent for men. If you're wanting that uh, classic, uh, smooth, woody, uh, masculine smell. Last, well that was the last one technically for our sample snacks, but honorary mention. Uh, Guardian exclusive. I had a sample of it and I brought a full bottle. I did a review. You can see the uh, our actually full review of it and really enjoyed this one. You can see our take on it. Um, we'll leave a link in the description box right. below. Great, great fruity uh, fragrance. It, rem it reminds me of two other fragrances I own in the sense of it's along the lines of it. Really adored it. Kirke and um, Herba Pura by Zershoff. Uh, if you enjoy those fragrances, definitely try Guardian exclusive. Not a dupe. But if you love those kind of scents, this will be a great scent for you for the summertime. All right, Sosida, here's the moment of truth. Yeah. What is your top three? First, Velvet Vanilla, mm. Roses Vinny, and an Indian Dream. Hmm. Well, my top three are going to be at number three, we have Oud Amazing. At number two, we have Cedre Bois. And at number one, hands down, I'm wearing the yellow. You already know what time it is. It's gonna be Sicily for me. I hear that. I really like that name, Sicily. It reminds me of a fragrance I used to own when I was a kid. Funny, you probably would think the first for a kid, Dolce Gabbana Sicily. This is my only thing like it, but I love the name Sicily. You think of like an Italian uh, luxurious vacation, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, let us know what you think. Have you tried any Mancera's? Like, Mancera's a great fragrance house, all Montal. Mancera, Montal. Have you tried any of these fragrances? Like, I would say they're great fragrances. They're great buy for the for the price um and it's an assortment you can find something you like everyone anyone can find anything they like in this in this collection or in the fragrance houses i think everybody can enjoy them it's a can't lose so again thank you guys for another episode of sample sip saturday thank you for coming with us and special shout out to you jane have a saturday that's a saturday <laughs> saturday so here we are with the sample sip saturday we have more to come uh, we're going to keep buying samples because I'm a fragrance lover and that's what I'm going to keep doing. <laughs> All right, guys. So until the next time, we'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye. Bye.